Oh dear. <laughs> Here we are again with an expert software thing on a LGR blurb video. Greetings. Welcome to this. This was a moment of weakness. <laughs> Desperation, perhaps. I don't know. Just curiosity got the better of me. You might have seen in the uh, last video I did about an expert software thing, the ultimate game collection for Windows and DOS, it turned out. Uh, yeah, I just happened to see this 3D font creator shown in that catalog, and I was just I was immediately intrigued and went on eBay, and there was one copy available, complete in box. Still sealed, so that's what we're going to look at today. A sealed inbox thing. It makes your documents explode in 3D, after all. Can't say no to that. <laughs> it's effectively word art in a box, and that is precisely why I was so drawn to it. The very concept amuses me. Anyway, 100 true type fonts, 25 custom 3D font samples. Don't know exactly what that means. Apparently it's for versions, uh, there's two versions on CD-ROM, Windows 95 and 3.1. Don't know if they're the same executable or not. Uh, 1996. And look at this. It's, <laughs> it's just 3D fonts, or a way to make 3D fonts. It looks like a very basic image editor type of thing. And I'm assuming that you export them as images. But I don't really know. Oh, here, oh, here right, right here. WMF format. Word, PowerPoint, Aldous PageMaker, Quark Express, and many others. So anything that supports the WMF. Okay. Well, anyway, I just wanted to take a look at this because I don't really know exactly <laughs> what to expect. I've never used a 3D font program before. Let's see what the system requirements are. 386 or higher DOS compatible Windows, SVGA, 4 megs of RAM. Oh, man. CD-ROM, of course. All right, whatever, typical stuff. This is just, it brings back some interesting memories too, because for some reason I was obsessed with the idea of like 3D letters, probably because of stuff like this, not this program, but you know, the, the other programs like Word and Print Shop that allowed you to make 3D letters. And uh, it was just something I liked to draw all the time was 3D lettering. So for instance, I would just, you know, do like the word 3D like this. I would just draw this in like all my school textbooks and stuff. Like, oh, look at this. 3D, yeah. And just little things like that. Anyway, I still do it sometimes when I'm just doodling. Uh, I guess that's on there now. It doesn't matter. We're taking off the plastic. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Mm, and we're gonna install it on Windows and see how we can make some documents explode in 3D fonts. sun faded but hey I'll accept it I'm not gonna cut myself on this one either all right there's even less in this one than the last one so we literally just have the PC novice magazine thing registration card no no catalog Of course, the software on CD-ROM. I mean, it's got a wood 3D font. We're gonna do that. Okay, that's <laughs> pretty much all there is to see in here. Uh, let's go ahead and install it on Windows 90 something and see what we can do in terms of 3D font creation. My goodness. Alrighty, time for some 3D font creation in Windows 98. We will see if there is indeed two separate versions, one for 95 and 3.1. I have my doubts. Spinning up rather loudly. <laughs> yeah, just one executable, that's how it goes. Yeah, the time is when you had to make sure that, oh, it is definitely compatible with 95, so don't worry, please buy a product, even if you have an older computer. 3D font creator. Oh, look at that gloriousness. <laughs> I'm in love already. This is silly. Okay, let's see here. Done copying files. Man, I hope that this runs without the CD, because that is loud. Uh, ads. 
Okay, got an, uh, we got an on disk catalog. Of course. This is on most of the expert releases from this time. Whoa! How dramatic. Online catalog. Don't you love when uh, any kind of manual or documentation or catalog on a CD or a disc was called online? Look at all these things. <laughs> Aussie screensaver. Oh dear. Yeah, I do like this program a lot better than the just the straight up PDF. <laughs> you know, they put some effort into it. Fonts, just fonts in a box. It's the not any particular type. It's just fonts, you know. Fun clips, greeting card. You know, it's all the things. It's all the things. That expert did. They did a lot. Bingo card, game classics, casino chess, favorite games? Yeah, okay. Not as many games as I was hoping for in there. It's just one page. Backroad Racers is a game, kind of. 3D graphics, video, animation, sounds. I've been meaning to cover this for a long time. It actually comes with a uh, Revell model kit for a car, at least one of the versions does. Anyway, um, I'm gonna take the CD out of there. It is so loud. I hope it runs without it. Did it even install? I don't think it put a shortcut. What the heck? Guess we'll install it again. I guess because I canceled out of the, uh, yeah, registration activation thingy. It didn't put any shortcuts or even copy all their files. It, 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 here it is, though. Now it's there. Well, before I put the CD back in there, let's uh, just take a look real quick at Word Art. This is what it really reminded me of. It's just being able to, you know, type in whatever, and then you get these 3D text box images. Look at that. Word Art. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. So anyway, there's not a whole lot you can do though in terms of this. You can't really customize the way it looks necessarily. It's just you pick from those pre-made word art styles here and that's about it. So I'm hoping, expecting that 3D Font Creator allows us to create all kinds of different things. Ah, love that splash screen. And here we go. Oh, we get a <laughs> changing of the window title with every mouse over. That's fun. Let's just type in some text. 3D. All right. So far, very word art, but I see so many, many other options here. Let's see, what can we do? Oh, that's just it's a rotate tool. Rotate font horizontally. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Honestly impressive. I mean, I was really expecting this kind of degree of freedom here. Kind of like, eh, you know, a basic 3D modeling program. But instead of whatever other models, you just have like primitives based on fonts. <laughs> okay. You can choose any font too, which is pretty cool. So it's just using the vector shapes from this and creating whatever you want. Your handwriting 3D font. Look at that. Oh, that's that is cool. So yeah, it's it's like super word art. Intriguingly, look at this. It's almost like it's going around uh like a sphere, because it's totally changing the angle. Or like there's a camera, we're looking at, we're looking at it from a direct angle. Perspective angle, oh, orthogonal, okay. Ah, that's more like, so that's just dragging around to do whatever, but if you do the perspective, yeah, look at that, you do have a perspective, and it shifts based on where you put it in the scene. Fascinating. I wonder if there's a way to change perspective. There has to be. Oh, we got depth, oh, look at this. Yes! Dude! 
I honestly would have loved this back in the day. Like I said before, I was oddly obsessed with 3D text and <laughs> any kind of 3D modeling or imagery. This would have been pretty neat. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. It also broke, but that's okay. There's no rear, or was there ever a rear side? Guess not. All kinds of things though. Got grid spacing, light effects. So basic light direction. Wow, not too much to choose from there. Let's put a bottom light there and make it a little brighter. Yeah, that looks awful. Undo that. Can't. Why not? Hmm. Ah, uh, there's the grid, okay. So if we were to, yeah, that, that's much more natural to my eye anyway. 2D, no, 3D, there we go, got a grid, much better. So we can do wireframe as well, that's awesome. <laughs> this is pretty darn cool, man. More so than I was expecting. Got grayscale, we got color, we got textures. Let's see if we can change these textures. No, it's got to load them from the CD. Oh, we got ants. Oh no, it's just throwing them on the front. Oh, these are terrible textures. Why did they put these in here? These are not suitable for anything. Oh, <laughs> that's really bad. Oh. Can I select all? Okay, there we go. Well, why can't I, like, I want to change the textures of the, the sides, too. You can add a bevel. Okay. Oh, well, kind of. It's more like a, a stroke right on the outside of the text. I'm not sure I'd call that a bevel. Maybe it's beveled and I just can't tell. Yeah, no, it's beveled. All right. Change it to, uh, oh, that's even worse. Oh, nope. Uh, how's about, yeah, let's see what it does with like wingdings. Wow, it actually handles it half decently. Awful textures, let's put some other texture on there. Man, these textures are so bad. Well, I got wood grain. Eh, there's gotta be a way to change the, uh, the sides of it because otherwise that's awful. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. It doesn't even tile. That's just garbage. Expert software, I expected better. So yeah, here we go. This will affect the sides of it. And this is the background. So clearly some of these are made to be backgrounds. <laughs> and some are made to be actual tiling textures. Although again, not very well. There's very clear seams going on there. See, how do we zoom in? Eh. Yeah. yeah, look at those seams. It's just lazy. I mean, it's hard to do with a bunch of peanuts, but come on now. Candy corn, got seams. That one's not bad, actually. Cheerios. I'm curious if it came with any pre-made ones. Yeah, it's got samples. All right. Look at all these. I like how cake is spelled with a Q. Oh, quake. They just forgot the U. <laughs> Sure. Cake. An earth cake is happening. It's all a facade. What is this? The army ants want you. <laughs> we got this ant texture. We're gonna use it, dang it. B and oh, been there, done that. Let's renew. Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. That one's pretty cool. Somebody put some time into that one. These have got to be wingdings, right? It, does, it doesn't say. It's like I can't edit these pre-made ones for some reason. Cats. Oh my goodness. Seriously, who came up with these? They probably just had like one, you know, every single person in the studio just create one thing. If anybody uh, somehow <laughs> really? <laughs> I was gonna say, 
okay. If anybody somehow worked on this and is somehow coming across this video, let me know what it was like creating these things. But I think that this piece right here gave me an idea of what it was like to create these, uh, these pre-made sample designs. F you indeed. Uh, Welcome to the future, man. I do like that it's overall aesthetic. Hungry. Oh, they, they use all the food textures. Nah. There are a fair number of textures in here. I wonder if these are just bitmaps. These are XTI and XTX and XSW files. Okay. I don't know what makes those. Um, so yeah, if we were to export these, it goes into that WMF file format, which can be used on Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Alice Page Maker, Quark Express, and many others. So let's export this hungry one just to the desktop there, and we'll see what we can do in terms of opening it in Word from file. Let's see if this... Okay, so that works. Ah, there it is. Neat. Huh. Well, I'll be... Yeah. So you can have... 3D font creator art on top of word art. <laughs> Let's do that really quick. So I'm going to go with wood green all the way through. Of course, can we do... Hmm. If we don't group them, maybe we can separate the... Okay, <laughs> yeah, that separates everything. Um, right. Aha. Well, it's perhaps not as intuitive as it could be. There are some slightly better tools for doing things like this and say Print Shop Deluxe, but this is still, <laughs> you know, it's better than I thought, to be honest. So let's go into here and we will insert our new thing. Wood grain 3D Comic Sans fonts. Look at that. Beautiful. And we will do word art with this one. <laughs> uh, 3D font art with word art on top. 3D font creator. It is fantastic nonsense. And I think I'm going to leave it there. You know what? It's about what I expected, or really what I hoped for, and then some. Uh, there's a few more 3D modeling type tools in there than I thought it would have, you know, the different ways to see the wireframes and add bevels and spin stuff around and have the grid and whatnot. That's actually pretty cool. Like I said, I would have genuinely enjoyed the crap out of this as a youngin, and I'm rather amused by it now. Did it make my documents explode in 3D? Probably not. I mean, unless you count this explosive, but hey, there you go. 3D font creator. That is a blurb right there. Thanks for watching.